All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending when you're watching this video. This is Josie coming to you from Chicago. So today I'm going to show you how to do what is called volume listing. Volume listing is when you have a lot or more than, let's say, three or four of the same exact items um, that this person has here, which is me. This is my listing. Uh, this is one of the items that we picked up off of our uh, liquidation lot. And we've got probably about 30 or 40 of these. 20 are brand new in box and 20 are new in box, but they're open. Uh, so this one here is for a listing for the open box. Um, so I'm going to show you how to list something like this because when you have more than one, it is easier and better and the, the products will move faster if you do a listing like this called volume listing. This is volume pricing, which means when they buy one, they will buy it for the regular price of $9.95 in this instance. If they buy two, then each of them, as you can see right here, is going to cost them $9.45. Now you can do as many boxes as you want. I think you can do four. Four is what I've seen the most. I've, I think I saw a listing that had five. Like if you buy five or more, the more you buy, the cheaper it is, right? So this is called volume listing and this is volume pricing. So as you can see here, it says if you buy one, it's going to be $9.95 each. But if you buy three or more, they end up being $9.15 each. They're going to save, you know, uh, 80 cents for each one. Of course, you can make these as big as you want as far as discounts. It depends on what you pay for the item, of course, and how many you have in stock. Now, you have something like, let's say, keychains, and they're the exact same keychain because it should be the same exact item. Let's say you bought a hundred of them and you want to sell them in volume like this. You can say if you buy one, you get, um, you know, get the keychain for five bucks. If you buy four, then you get them for three dollars. If you buy ten, you get them for a dollar each, something like that, so that you can make your money. So the first thing you have to do is that you have to go ahead and create your listing, just like you would regularly do. Create your listing. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this listing, and I'm gonna show you one thing that you have to add in order for this to work. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are. Here is the title, and here is what's called the custom label or the SKU. Okay, whatever you put here, you have to put something in this box, which is absolutely free. If you're not doing this already, this is something that only you see and eBay sees. Nobody else sees it. Uh, it, you see it in your back office, but as far as your listing, the people looking at your listing are not going to look at this part here. So you can use this spot, which I have used to say, like let's say I have this on my shelf in my basement. It's on the first shelf. Um, for instance, it's on the first shelf and the third level. So I will say shelf one, level three, then my symbol for basement. That way I know that it's in the basement office, it's on the second shelf, it's on level three. You can write whatever you want in here in order to remind yourself of the location of this item. Now what I do when I have, um, like I just bought 100 reading eyeglasses and I have them set up differently. So you can also put it here in the listing. So for my, like my, my reading glasses, I've got R01-10 so that I know what well, that's going to show up. But I know that it's going to be in my red package box. I have a boxing shelf that has about 20 levels on it. So I know that it's going to be in the first box. It's going to be red 01. And then I tag each of my eyeglasses to say this is number 1, 2, 3, 4, because so many of them look alike. That way I know which listing got sold. So you can either put your listing location, of course, if you're doing it from home, not drop shipping. But you can do it here, or you can put it in here. Now, if you put it here, everyone's going to see, you know, what you wrote down. So you're better off putting it here if you're um, doing some kind of drop shifting from Walmart uh, or drop shipping from Walmart or Sears or whatever. You can always put, you know, like Walmart, and then you can put the ID number, if you want, of that item so that you know where you got that from. But in order for you to do volume listing which is what we're showing you you have to write something in here because we're going to use this exact phrase 
when we're doing our listing. So what you would do is you write something in here, whatever you want. Go ahead and copy it. We're going to go ahead and go and put it in a notepad for now. So there we are. We're going to leave it in that notepad. Let's minimize that just so that we hold on to it. Then go ahead and do your listing like you always do. You, I have store categories that I've made up. So again, just to keep myself organized so I know where where these items are coming from. So just go ahead and do your listing, do your pictures. Everything is exactly the same. Nothing changes. Nothing changes here, okay? Everything here is the same. So once you do your listing, you're going to go ahead and, and update it or you're going to save it. And then I'm going to show you what to do next right after this. All right, this is the next thing you need. This is an Excel file straight from eBay. I will link this at the bottom of this video for you guys. Um, this is where it might get a little complicated for you guys, so just follow me along. When you open up this Excel file, which is coming straight from eBay, you have to download it to your computer, open, up, open it up in Excel. This is what you're going to see. Okay, remember when we had this little, the exact wording? that you wanted that was in your SKU, you're going to go to the very first box here, you're going to delete it. Okay? Don't touch anything in the first level. Leave this alone for right now. I'm going to explain that in a second. Let's do this step by step. I don't want anyone to get lost. So in the second box right here, you're going to put the exact phrase, which is here. See, it's right here. That's the exact phrase that was on our listing under the SKU, right? That was the SKU name that we came up with. So this is it right here. Now this was says offset type, and this it says percentage. Leave it right there. That is going to tell you that whatever percentage we fill out here, that's going to be the discount to the original price, okay? Now here it says tier 1, minimum quality is 1. The maximum is 1, and the offset is 0. Okay, these three boxes do not touch. Leave them alone. That's just letting you know that it's going to be, if you buy 1, and the max that you can buy is only 1, it's going to be at 0, which is the original price that's already on our listing, which was 1995. If you remember, the original price, I believe, was 1995. Let's take a quick look. Okay, yes, as you can see, the original price is $19.95, $19.95 each. Okay, so let's go back to our screen. So this you're not going to touch because that's letting you know if you buy one, it's going to be whatever price you set in your original listing. Now here, where it says T2 minimum quantity 2, that means they're going to they're gonna buy 2. The max that they can buy is 2. And the offset right here, this number 5, means 5%. 5 so it's going to be 5% less of the original price that we put here. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Make sure it matches up. Go back to our listing. So as you can see, if they buy 2, they're going to get it at 5% less than our original listing of 1995. Okay, they buy one, original price, they buy two, 5% less. And then you're going to see if they buy three or more, it's 10% less than the original listing. And then we'll go back to that one. So here in this box, and I don't want to confuse anyone, but here in this box right here, let me do this again. This offset under the H it's going to be 5% or whatever percentage you want to put. You can start at 10%, 15%. But whatever number you put here is going to be percentage of your original price that you guys picked. Okay. And then here where it says T3, that means they're going to buy minimum quality they can buy is 3 in order to get it at this price. The max they can buy is 3. Again, at this price and it's going to be 10 cents cheaper 10 cents 10 percent cheaper than the original amount that's on the listing if they buy two max is two it's going to be five percent cheaper than the original listing over here it says minimum let me get rid of this and then again i did only three but you, if you do four 
You can do four and you can keep going. Now since I only did three, I did four in the very last box where it says maximum quality, that has to stay zero because the software is going to, you don't put anything in here, don't put zero, just leave it blank. That has to stay blank, the very last section here. Whether it's four, five, six, seven. So if you only have two that you're offering, and number three here, max right here will be blank. You wouldn't put three. It will be blank. You won't touch it. So the only things you're gonna touch if you wanna do only three listings. Let's do a little, a little quote here. Okay. So if you only wanna do, only do three options like I have on my listing. You would do uh, up to the number four, right? Just like here, quantity four. And you would just leave that last box right here empty. Empty, don't put anything there, leave it blank. Okay, let's go over this one more time. I know it's a lot I'm throwing at you, and I'm sorry, we're gonna go slow. So, first thing you wanna do, you wanna put in the SKU number, the SKU name that we had made up in your original listing. Do your original listing first. Put something for the SKU name that goes here. Don't touch, this is the best way to, to think about it. Don't touch anything here or here. The only thing you're gonna change is this and this. That's it. Don't touch anything else. That's probably the easiest way to tell you. You only gotta add in your SKU name you're going to change this to whatever percentage to whatever percentage you want off whatever percentage you want off no oh, I didn't know I could do that it's zooming in and zooming out let me take this off because it's drawing me way off <laughs> so okay again you're only going to add your SKU name you're going to add leave this alone you're going to go right here under the H. This is the section you want to be messing with. And the K. H and K. The only two you're going to touch. Put whatever percentage you want to give them off. If they buy two, they're going to get this percentage off. If they buy three, they're going to get this percentage off. That's it. Don't touch anything else. You'll be good to go. Now, once you do this, you want to save it as a C V. S file. Okay? Now if you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. Once you're in Excel, you go to File. Let me see if I can move this up so you guys can see. You go to File, Save As. Then down here, it says CSV, comma, deleted file. Save it under there, and then you'll be good to go. Okay? Once you save it as a CSV file, you put Save. I'm going to show you what to do next. Now it's saved on your computer. Remember where you saved it at. That's the important part too. So remember, one more time. Once you open up this file, just add the SKU, your SKU name. Don't touch anything here. Put down how much percentage you want to give them if they buy two or more as a discount. How much percentage you want to give them if they buy three or more. They're going to get this much of a percentage off the original price. Okay? All right, good. I'm sure you got that. We got smart people here. Let's keep going. Next thing you're going to do is upload the file to eBay. So let's find out how to do that. All right, once you come back, back to eBay, what you want to do is you want to go to Marketing, go to Promotions, click on Promotions. Let's shoot over there. Let me open this up for you. Give me one second. Okay, once you're on, pro, um, this is part of your seller hub. Okay, so you went to marketing, you went to promotions. Once you go to promotions, you go here where it says create a promotion. Click on the down box. You should see something that says volume price discount. Click on there. Okay, now this is where it gets super easy. You did all the hard part already. The hardest part was trying to make that custom name. And then the hardest part is to fill out that spreadsheet. Please make sure you fill it out correctly. Very important. Now, once you're done, you will go to Choose File. It will go to your computer. 
and then you would choose the file that you just picked, the one we just made, the one you saved as a CVS file. Okay, so you gotta make sure that oh, I'm sorry, CSV file. Make sure that it's you got saved under a CSV template file, just like I showed you. Upload that file right here. Once you upload it right here, then you can put your date. Now I leave it here checked where it says start immediately. Now you have to put an end date, whatever date you want. You can put in, you can put until the end of the year if, if that's what you want to do. I put it to the 31st for now. Okay, so you have to choose a file. So let's go ahead and choose the file. Let me put that up. Hold on. All right, so I uploaded my file. Oops, cancel that. So oh, now it says it doesn't. All right, let me get that again. One second. Okay, once you upload your file, you're going to be able to see it right here. See? There it is under the file name that you saved it under, whatever you want to save it under. Once you do that, make sure this says start immediately. And then choose your end date, whatever end date you want to do it. You want to try it for a week, a month, uh, to the end of the year, to next year, it doesn't matter. But you have to make sure this is done. And you got to make sure this is done. And you got to make sure this is done, your end date. Because if you don't have these three things done, this blue mark will not highlight in order for you to submit. Okay? So, once you hit submit, I'm not going to hit submit because I already have mine going, obviously. But once you hit submit, up here on top, it's going to say your, um, your spreadsheet has been updated uh, correctly something like that but it'll be right here in this section up here on top now if and there'll be like a little green tab saying your submission was successful something in that in those terms if it is not successful it will tell you why and the main common reason is because when you go to the spreadsheet do not put any decimal points in these spots that I told you guys to um, write in Okay, so when you're doing the, the minimum, which is starting right here, don't put any decimals. It has to be whole numbers. So if you're going to do a percentage, 5% off, like here, 10% off. It has to be, you know, 3% off, 20% off, whatever you want. But it has to be whole numbers. No decimal points whatsoever. And remember, this last spot has to be blank. Nothing in there. If you guys do that, then you will be good to go. If you do this... Give it about, it's, it's taking about 10 to 15 minutes that I've noticed for my listing to come up in those variable options. So it doesn't happen right away. Like when you do a listing, you know, 15 seconds later, 10, 5 seconds later, you can see your listing. This is going to completely change your listing. So it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes for eBay to go to your listing, make the changes, and then go ahead and do this. Now I know what your next, next question is. But Josie, I put 10% off and now I want to make it 15%. Do I have to go through this headache to do that again? No, you do not. Let me show you what happens. Let's go, let's go to the listing again and let's go and revise it so you can see what happens. Okay, so now we're back here at the original listing. So if you want to change the price, all you have to do is go ahead and hit revise on here. And whatever main price you change it to, so let's say I want to make this more higher. Now it's going to be $25. When I change this to $25, the software will, will automatically change it to 5% off if they buy two and 10% off if they buy three or more because that's the way I set up the, um, the spreadsheet. Now, if you want to change the percentages, then you will have to do it over again and then change it from 5% to 7% or 10% to 20%, whatever you want. But I've noticed that if you change the price, it makes it a lot easier. So you would just hit revise your item and then you will go ahead and change the main price. As soon as you change the main price, the buy two and buy three will change automatically. I hope this helped you guys. I know I went super slow. This is a little long video. We're running about 20 minutes or so. If you like these kinds of videos, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe below so that you can see videos and you will be notified every time I come up with new videos for you guys. 
Um, I'm hoping that this helped you guys out. I was trying to figure out how to do it on my own. Had a hard time doing it. So I figured I would do a video for you guys. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, give me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. And uh, if you're looking for a good neck massage wand, why don't you go ahead and buy one of these? <laughs> uh, the link for this will be below as well in case you just want to take a look at it. Um, I'll, I'll try to put it on there. I have a couple of things to do right now, but I will definitely try to add that to the video as well. So this is Josie from Chicago showing you how to do a volume price listing. Uh, again, you can have, you know, buy one, buy two, if you buy three, or well, it says here, buy three or more, you get it at this price, but buy four, buy five, uh, up to you. So uh, until next time, in between time, have a great weekend. Today is Friday. We're celebrating my daughter's 10th birthday tomorrow with about 35 friends and family coming over. So we're going to have a great time uh, with my little blessing. I hope you guys have a great time with your family and friends too. Remember, it's not only about listing and working. You got to have fun. You got to spend time with the family and your loved ones. It's good to kind of detox every now and then. That I like to say and get away a little bit from um, doing this, from doing listing and just from working 24 hours. But I know it's Q4. You guys don't want to be listing, 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 which is good. Um, if you have a lot of things of the same, do it this way. It will be a lot easier. And you should see your sales kind of spike up for those items. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great weekend.